Looks kind of spooky, doesn't it? Like a scene out of a movie. <laughs> So somebody sent this down, and it was part of the um, chess challenge, but this came with it. And I kind of didn't really have time to look into what it actually was at the time. But it's actually... Hold up. It's called uh, Nicodin's? Nicodin's Horn. Essentially, it's a speaker for your mobile. <laughs> or a handy pen pot. The lines around the rim spell out N, wood turning, as Z doesn't exist in Nordic. Nordic? Nordic? Nordic. Nordic alphabet. Apparently it says N wood turning. From a very green apple. So to expect movement in the wood. That's really cool. And this is from oh, AH Bespoke. Thanks again, Andy Heal. As of his channel, but he's having a few teething problems. I do have Instagram and Facebook pages. Check him out, AH Bespoke. So I just wanted to let you guys know what that was because that's kind of cool. I'm not too sure how you honk the horn on it though. I've also received a few letters as well so I thought I'd better open these as well for you. I'll try and be quick. The Carmichael Workshop. Here's a sticker for you for your collection. Sorry I will miss Make Essential but maybe next time. Have fun. Stay dusty. Steve. Steve! 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 Cheers Steve! Dear Nick, just a quick note to say a big thank you to you and your team for creating Maker Central. My wife and I attended on the Saturday and we were both thrilled. Happy days! By the quality of the show. To see so many YouTubers in person was truly inspiring. Once again Nick, thank you for, the, for a wonderful show. Yours sincerely, Trevor Painter. Planning for next year? Hmm. Maybe, Trevor. Just maybe. 70? 70? Nick, I've been really enjoying your turning videos with all different stuff and added resin. Really cool stuff. I wanted to send you my sticker in case you were doing sticker swaps. From Oh, it's from another, another Nick. Thanks, Nick. Uh, red button turns. <laughs> red buttons. Nick, when you get a new sticker board, here's a new sticker. I'm not sure if they had stickers before, red button turns, but now they have. And this one's for Charlie, from Hudson. Cheers, Hudson. Faith, red button turns. Tiny ant turning. Faith. This is Faith. This is a tiny ant, it seems. Charlie the Maker. Oops. This isn't for me. I'm not too sure who this is. Or this. Dear Nick from NZ Wood Turning. Mailed some buttons for you to turn, to turn into something. And thank you from Faith from Red Button Turns. Thanks Faith, I really appreciate the letter. It's very kind of you to send. And all the other bits and pieces and the buttons. And I will definitely pass this on to Charlie. Last but not least, for Harry. Oh, that's not for me. Dear Nick and team. Just wanted to let you know how much we enjoyed Maker Central and can't wait for the event next year. We had an absolute ball. Three days from Nicola, Chris and Bamba. The Blind Wood Turner. Gotta check this guy out. Absolutely amazing guy. His name's Chris Fisher and he did some demos at Maker Central. He's absolutely amazing to watch. Cheers Chris and team. I'll send this on to Harry. Rather than keep waffling on, I found this. Well, I didn't actually find it. I bought it at a car boot sale. Flea market to those of you in the US. I love kind of going out and finding little bits and pieces. And I'm just wondering what I can really do with this and what I can make with it. And I thought to myself, I'm going to restore this somehow and make it into some kind of funky looking light. So, let's do that and see if I can lighten up your day. So I'm just applying some of this uh, wax. This is called Fiddy's Wax. Um, and you can see it's really rusty and kind of um, worn out really. It's like a really old fashioned lantern, this thing. So um, 
what I'm going to do is just try to buff it up a little bit. I don't want to sort of like get rid of the the look, but I want to sort of tie it up a little bit because, as you can see, it's pretty rusty around there. Turning a kind of old lantern into a, wait for it, yep, a funky looking light. Well, I hope you don't mind me doing these little things. Like I said, I do want to kind of mix up the channel a little bit. So I saw this lantern and I thought to myself, this would make a really cool light. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, it's trying to convert it from its old style lantern into today's kind of modern sort of light. I've got an LED in there, but I've gone with an old sort of like, um, what do they call them, Edison type of bulbs. So it looks kind of cool. Let me turn this off and show you again. There. How cool is that? I think that is a really nice little lamp. This will look quite cool in your front room or lounge or whatever you want to call it. And I've got all the parts in there as well so you can hold it like this. It still kept all the original features. Obviously yeah I've taken out the bottom bit where you're supposed to light that but um, everything else is intact and obviously you know I want to try and keep all the features possible really so there we go. Looks kind of spooky doesn't it? Like a scene out of a movie. Night time. Day time. Night time. Daytime! Well, I hope you like my funky little project. Bit of a waffle and a bit of a project as well. So I've got loads of other ideas um, and loads of other things that I want to make. Um, I'm going to make them anyway because I just really want to get involved and do other things. Maybe a bit of metal work, you know, um, maybe a bit of blacksmithing, maybe some welding, doing a few lights, just bits and pieces really, because I just love making stuff. You've got that sense of satisfaction once it's kind of done, and I think for me there's only so many bowls and vases that I can make. I want to try to keep you guys entertained and give you, and give you all sorts of different ideas as well if I can. Although you've probably seen this one before, but maybe you haven't, and that's what's cool about it. Well that's it, waffle over. Hang on a minute, not just yet. Also received this in the post. Now this is so cute, I kinda had to read this. So hello Nick from the USA. My name is Peggy, I think it's Peggy. And the other letter in here is from my daughter, Ashton. Is it Ashton? Ashton, Ashton? She's six. She loves watching your videos and I just started wood turning a few months ago. I was inspired by seeing one of your videos. I hope you can read Ashton's letter. She said she wants to come and visit you. But I told her a letter would be best. <laughs> well, Ashton, if you're ever in the UK, 
please pop in for a coffee or a juice. So, dear Nick, I love... This is the love... Your videos on YouTube. My name is Ashton. Your videos are great. The stuff that you make out of wood is amazing. Love, Ashton and Peggy, my mummy. That is so cool. When I first read that, I kind of welled up and I got those little goose bumps all over me. Thanks so much, Ashton. Um, I don't know what to say, really. Uh, this is just so cool. Um, I'm so chuffed that you watch the channel, Ashton. I really hope you're enjoying the funky things that I make. I'm just really chuffed that you're watching the channel. And it makes me feel really good to know that. So cheers, Ashton. So that's it, folks. Thanks for joining me on today's making stroke waffle. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the light, if you like it, if you like the idea of me kind of mixing up a few things and making a few little odd things on Wednesdays. I won't always do it, but every now and again I want to just pull something out of the box, almost like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> bit of a surprise, really. I'm a bit like a box of chocolates. As Forrest Gump would say, you never know what you're going to get. Do you want a chocolate? Well, thanks for joining me. Thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel. I'm completely overwhelmed. I know I always say that, but I am. It's gone crazy. I think I have actually hit 100,000 subscribers. So that is just amazing to me. Um, and I really do thank you guys for all your support and watching me. Take care, and I'll see you all soon.